Hello there, Virgo. Welcome to your weekly prediction. This week's card reading covers July 15th to the 21st of 2018. This is a general reading, so please only take what resonates with you. I can answer your more specific questions when you book a reading. Just go ahead and send me an email. Thank you. There are free readings every week. To enter to win, press that notification bell and comment and then you're entered to win a reading. I have shuffled, meditated over, and blessed this reading just for you, Virgo. Your first card, that's the basis of the matter. It's the general atmosphere, the background of the question. It is the King of Swords. The King of Swords. This is bringing in air energy. Could be Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra. They kind of seem like they're a stern figure because they're so involved with mental work. They would make a good counselor. They speak with eloquence and they give sound advice. He is always fair and always speaks the truth. So listen for the correct approach. He seems like the strong silent type at first because he's so quiet that you'll be later surprised when he talks your ear off. This person, he believes in keeping his word. He's also a very charming leader. Your second card, it's the energy crossing over your path. It's the immediate future. It's what's occurring now. The world, number 21 of the major arcana in the Rider Waite deck. The world, number 21. And this is a major card. This is completion and reward. It's success and triumph. And you're feeling on top of the world. It's fulfillment of your hopes and dreams. It's a major life-changing thing. It could be a travel or change of residence, but it is completing something. And you're celebrating and dancing and you have support by unseen forces. There's success after a long trial and your goal is achieved and recognition is likely. Your third card, and this is how it affects you. The Five of Wands. The Five of Wands, Virgo. And this stands for competition. It's in social or career areas. It's new factors that demand you change, adapt, and grow. You must put in a little more effort to keep what you've already gained. There's some mediation and maybe challenge and struggle. You're building something that comes with tests and you might feel unrest. So watch for trickery or fraud and in some cases, family rivalries. There may be some petty hassles and annoyances. Your fourth card, it's the future, the outcome, it's the results, the advice, or how to respond. Number four, the Emperor of the Rider Waite deck in the Major Arcana. Number four, the Emperor has to do with authority and stability and also paternity could be dealing with father issues. It has to do with ambition and leadership and domination. It's standing up for yourself and relying on your own power. You might be organizing or prioritizing and dealing with issues with your father or defending boundaries. You're solving problems and being protective and wanting to be in control it also has to do with laws and rules. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. It's what's unseen or underlying the issue. It is the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups bringing in water energy. It could be a message about love. It could be someone that's a Cancer or a Scorpio or a Pisces. They may be bringing the energy, this message about love. This person, they're dreamy, 
and they're emotional and they chase after a dream. They may be making advances or propositions. They may, they may even represent your true love or your Mr. or Mrs. Wright. But this is a good friend and they're honest and intelligent and willing to aid you. You may need to follow your heart, maybe making amends or offering forgiveness. The shadow of this card is someone may be manipulative using emotional situations. Thank you so much, Virgo. Thank you for your wonderful comments and validations and subscribes. I'm extremely grateful. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so keep it positive. Love and light. Thank you.